HTTV with Illingworth and Gregory. Martin, first of all, a playoff place confirmed. How fantastic is that for Huddersfield Town? Yeah, the lads are both to be fair. We knew we needed, you know, a couple of points to cement it and uh, to get the free tonight. Everyone's delighted to know we can uh, play the last two games without much pressure and then we'll get ready for the playoffs. After the final whistle, David Wagner brought everyone together for a, for a huddle on the pitch. What, what did he say to you? It was just like to say well done you know it's a big achievement for everyone um, we stay focused now and you know everyone's given us the underdog title from the start and we've proved um, how good we are as a team so we've come this far together so why can't we do it? Describe the emotions that you felt and the rest of the team felt when the final whistle was blown after today's game. <laughs> well me personally I was relieved <laughs> my legs were killing but uh, <laughs> yeah you know just just to, to finally know that we're in the playoffs now was um, was a good feeling for everyone you know we've been waiting a few weeks now just to cement it I didn't think there was any doubts in our heads that we wouldn't get in um, you know we just needed the the three points tonight and we got them so you know everyone's over the moon in the dressing room and then um, we can we can look forward to the playoffs now and you could see in the celebrations as well with the fans how much it actually meant to them that that playoff spot is confirmed and they can enjoy the next two games before the playoff matches it's a massive achievement. The fans must be delighted, you know. They wouldn't have expected it this season. Don't think anyone would have. But um, as I said, we've pulled together as a team, as a club, and we've done we've done very well. You know, the expectations weren't there at the start of the season, but I think we've proved uh, many doubters wrong. So I'm, I'm glad the fans have had a chance to have a you know have a good season with us, and um, they've got the playoffs to look forward to now. So I hope we can do them proud. Do you think it helps cementing that playoff spot? with two games to go. It gives you a little bit of breathing space to go in and, and possibly keep players fresh and ready for that. Yeah, that, that's a bonus for the manager. You know, he can, depending on what he wants to do, but if you know if he wants to rest a few players, because um, some of the lads have played a lot of games this season, uh, it's a chance for them maybe to have a breather. But um, we'll wait and see what the manager wants to do. But as I said, we've got two games now. There's no pressure on them games. Um, obviously, we want to finish as high as we can at the table, but we'll be playing freely, you know, no pressure, and then we'll concentrate on the playoffs. The first half performance this evening was one of the best I've seen for a number of weeks from Huddersfield Town. What do you think changed? Um, and I've, we, we set up last few away games. We've been trying to do something a bit differently. You know, we didn't want to be too open. You know, because I think it was after the Forest game, maybe we were a bit open. We went down there and played away, and we got done a little bit. So last couple of games, we've tried to be um, a bit stronger as a defensive unit, but. You know, I think we played some good stuff at times tonight. Um, it was a great goal by Izzy in the first half, and then, you know, as a team, we defended brilliantly and um, got a clean sheet. You mentioned Izzy's impact. How influential has he been, and will he be coming to the end of the season? Yeah, it's a big boost. You know, coming back, we weren't sure whether um, him or Casey were going to come back. Obviously, we know Casey's. Um, I think I don't think he's coming back now, but you know, it's a big boost having Izzy back. He's a he's a brilliant talent. You know. Um, just having him on the pitch, he's good with the ball, you know, he can shoot, he can pass, everything really you need in a player. So, you know, just having him in there for a bit of creativity is, is good for us. So I'm, I'm glad he's got his goal tonight. And you mentioned the change in style over away games where you've been more defensively resilient and we saw that in the second half today. Yeah, I think we needed to, um, you know, after the weekend, we got done 4-1. So, you know, just to get a, get a clean sheet again was, was nice for everyone. Um, but as I said, it, it wasn't just a defence. It was all over. The shape was was good tonight and I think we've restricted them to a few chances. And the clean sheet's a big boost for you as well for returning into the starting lineup. Yeah, obviously the defenders was my aim um, to, to get a clean sheet in the games. If if I can help the attack inside, then that's it. But as a defender, first and foremost, it's, it's to get the clean sheet. And we've done that tonight, so I'm happy. How is it when you're kind of in and out of the side to keep up your concentration levels and, and keep motivated to help the team? Yeah, obviously it's difficult, but I try and do everything right, you know. Um, lucky enough for me, I haven't, I haven't had an injury this season, so I've been able to train as much as possible, you know. So I've sort of kept myself fit and um, it's just concentration, as you said. Uh, I've just got to stay focused and then when I do play, uh, and try and do my best. How would you assess your own performance today? I know that's a tricky question. No, I thought I did well, you know, I thought I was solid defensively. I probably didn't get forward as as much as I was have liked today, but I think second half we we sort of dropped into a sort of deep block and um, give them more of the ball, but that, that wasn't a problem for me, you know. Was, um, at the end of the day, we got a clean sheet, so I was happy. And like you say, clean sheet, a superb win, and you can take this, hopefully, and build some momentum to go into the playoffs. Yeah, definitely. Um, 
as you said, working on the clean sheet. If we can go out the next couple of games and, and build on what we've done here, go down to Birmingham Saturday, get another good result, and then obviously last game of the season is at home to Cardiff. Hopefully get a positive result there, and then whoever we play, we'll see what, can, see what happens. Well done tonight. Cheers, mate.